Welcome back savages to another video. In today's video we're going to be kitting out this Raspberry Pi 4 Model B 4 gig version with a new case and cooling fan. So the case and cooling fan in question is a GeekPi Ultra Thin Ice. So let's go and do a quick unboxing. First off you've got a little warning sheet. This is our acrylic base and there's four holes right there. Next up is an instruction sheet and we'll be following these installation steps. So in step one we're going to be adding some thermal pads to the CPU and memory chips. Step two we'll be installing the copper pillar. In step three right here we'll be adding the acrylic panel at the bottom with the screws and in step four is where we insert our fan and connect it to the board. And this is what you get in the package. So you've got the base, you've got the screws, you've got the thermal pads, and obviously the fan as well. So this is our fan here, and I've got to say it's really well built. You've got the copper tubing right there, very solidly built. That's our fan on the top. And we've got these three cables that will be connected to the Raspberry Pi. That's what it looks like underneath. And then you've got the heat sink right there as well. And the last thing in here, apart from the screwdriver, is our thermal pads and screws. So that's the unboxing done. Let's crack on with the installation. So step one, we're going to install the thermal pads on the CPU and memory chips. So I think this is a good square one to use on this one right here. So all you need to do on the thermal pad is just basically take this layer off right here and the same on the other side. And then we just stick it down like this. So that's done. So the next chip is this long rectangular one right here and we'll be using this one. And just make sure again you take off these protectors just on both sides of the thermal pads. Stick that on there. Next up we've got this little square one just here, so that's what it looks like, and I've just peeled off both sides. So that one's done, and the last one we're going to do is this one here. So step one is done, we've got the thermal pads on the CPU and the memory chips. Step two is to fit the heatsink. So this is it right here. And it should just fit nice and snug on there. To fix the heatsink to the board, we just use these screws right here. So you just turn it over and put it through there. And as you can see, it'll just tighten into these four legs right here. So I'll just do that on all four corners.
So there we go, that's all four screws on there. And that's not moving anywhere. Perfect. So we're on to step three now where we fix the acrylic panel to the copper pillars right here. But before we do that, there is some film on both sides of this acrylic. So make sure you take that off first. So that's better, nice and clear. So we're just going to turn that this way and basically mount it like that. And the last thing we need to do is just insert these screws into those four holes and basically screw it into those pillars. And it's handy to give you the screwdriver to do that as well. like so we're on to our final step step number four which is connecting the fan wires to the Raspberry Pi board pins just here at the top for context just want to tell you what these wires do so the red wire is our 5 volt line the black wire is ground and the blue wire right here is transmit data I'm just going to hold up the instruction sheet so you can see where they go and which pins so the red 5 volt one is going to go on pin 4, the ground black wire is going to go on pin 6 and our transmit data is going to go on pin 8. So let's do that. I'm just going to hold this up so you can actually see what it looks like when it's connected. So basically we're just using that top rail, skip the first pin and it's just the next three pins for the wires. So you've got red first, blacks next and then blue on the last pin right there. So there we go, all installed. We've actually even got some extras in there so they've provided some extra thermal pads in there. And we've got a couple of spare screws as well, so that's nice of them to do that. So that is our case installed. So the last thing to do is to power this up and see if it works. Let's do that. So the moment of truth is here. I've got a keyboard and monitor connected. Power cable's ready to go in just here. And I've just inserted the micro SD card with our operating system on. Let's go. So power's come on. Fan spun up just a tiny bit. Our monitor's just come on as well. And it looks like the Raspberry Pi is loading up. So there we go, we've got to the login screen and I can see that the fan is fully spinning away. Overall, I'm very impressed with this case and cooling fan. Really simple to install. Everything is in there that you would need out of the box. The fan is nice and breezy and definitely shifts a lot of air, so it should be able to keep this Raspberry Pi nice and cool. So there you go, savages. That is how you install a Geek Pi ultra thin ice case and cooling fan to a Raspberry Pi 4B. I'll leave a link in the description where you can buy the fan and the Raspberry Pi. If you have any questions about the installation, please leave them in the comment section below. Please like, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you, savages, on the next one.